you will continue that good work until the day of Jesus Christ. All you got to do now is lift your eyes and say, God, I behold, I'm looking at you, Lord. I'm looking at your promise. I'm looking at what you promised me. I'm looking at where I'm going. I'm looking at where I'm going because I'm going to a better place than this old world that's corrupt. I'm going to a better place. you something about having the unselfish nature there are less offenses with an unselfish nature there are a whole lot of offenses with a selfish nature isn't that right well the Bible tells us here and he says here Galatians chapter 4 he says that now let me go back a little further verse Chapter 23. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster or our tutor to bring us to Christ that we might be justified, clear and righteous, by faith. But after that faith is come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster or a tutor, for ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Because as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And if ye be Christ, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise now if you are an heir you inherit the possessions and the succession of the one that you become an heir of I hear what I'm saying hallelujah so it is what what is in Christ is ours, you see, and 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 the and the half had not been told, but he says here. Now I say that the heir, as long as he's a child, differs nothing from a servant or a slave, though he be Lord of all. You got to get that now. Uh, 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 he said. He said. For I, now I say that the heir. Somebody say heir. As long as he's a child, differs nothing from a servant, though he be Lord of all. In other words, in the old days, they had tutors there that would be assigned to a king's or a person's child. And they would have to, they would be responsible for their education for the whole estate until an appointed time. And once that child reached a certain age, then that would be turned back over to them. And they would deal not with the tutor, but they would deal directly with their father. Somebody say father. Father, hallelujah. And the Bible says uh, God has given to us the spirit of who? His son, whereby we cry, 
Abba, Father. Are y'all getting the picture here? Now we're no longer slaves. We don't have to be worried and scared to death of our relationship in serving God. But now we're sons. And because you're sons, God has done something. He has sent forth the spirit of his son into our hearts. We have a new nature. Look at somebody that says, I'm a new person now. I'm not the same person that I was under the fall. Hallelujah. So we're different people now. And it's important for us to begin to see ourselves as different. You are not trying to be blessed. You are not hoping to be blessed. It's been stamped over you. It's been stamped, hallelujah, on your record as a righteous child that you are already blessed. It doesn't matter what it looks like. You are already blessed. And God is looking for you and I to hold our head up and not hold our head down. And God is looking for us to operate like we're sons of the most high God. We're children of a king. Hallelujah. We're not children of a slave with children of the king and we can operate in this life when we need something from our father since we're sent as ambassadors then we can call upon heaven's throne and get the help that we need whatever it is that we need we can get it because God we're sent by God and children of God so we are heirs now of God and joint heirs with Christ and you know something, before the full inheritance come, something has to happen to you and I. Because the Bible says in Corinthians, for flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. See, the inherit the kingdom, that's our inheritance, the kingdom of God. Somebody say the kingdom of God. That's our inheritance. And so it says that's our inheritance. He says flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom. But then he said something. He said, behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the sound of the last trump. Somebody ought to be excited about where you're going. Hallelujah. We should be excited. About what's about to happen to you and I. Hallelujah. You see the thing about Abraham. The Bible says he sought for a country. A better country. He looked at everything in this life. All the blessing that he was blessed with. But the Bible says he operated as a stranger and a pilgrim. He looked way beyond and saw the day of God's blessing. And he looked at this. He sought a better country. Hallelujah. He saw the airship. He began to see what the future held for him. And I wonder if there's anyone here that, that, that has looked beyond this life and, and saw where we will live forever. And every day, as one writer described, shall be like Sunday and the Sabbath will have no end. But I have you something to know. It's going to be a whole lot better than that. It's better than anything that you can imagine in this life down here. Hallelujah. No more aches, no more pain, no more crying no more tears no more oppression no more bouts with the enemy hallelujah but every day in the presence of a holy God hallelujah and there'll be no need for the sun or the moon for the, the word the Lord himself is going to be the sun and his sun be the brightness of the glory of this, his, this, this, this light and God is light and you're going to see the light of God like you've never seen it before and he's going to dwell with you and I and we'll live with him forever oh it's, it ain't no comparison to the life that we're living down here there ain't no comparison with this life here this life here is a life of bondage and we're in a corruptible body here but the life hallelujah he said in a moment in the twinkling of an eye something is going to happen to these deaf doomed bodies something is going to happen hallelujah to this old corrupt nature something is going to happen to this uh, this body and he said um, in a moment something is going to happen this old corruptible is going to put on in corruption this old mortal this old death doom body is going to put on immortality hallelujah you're going to be like the angels you see there's something wonderful is about to happen to you and I and you know it's good for us to gaze at what God's about to do hallelujah and not to be gazing at the finite things of this life for the things of this world are temporary isn't that right um, and they pass away like the elements of a fervent heat they with the elements of a fervent heat they pass away 
it's only temporal and when I put my trust in temporal things and I'll get a temporal blessing but I want something more than a temporal blessing I want to know that my future has been secured because I put my trust in God what about you hallelujah this life is soon to pass and only what's been done for Christ is going to last and I want to challenge you to look up no matter what's going on I want to challenge you to keep your focus on God hallelujah for God has begun a good work in you and he will continue that good work until the day of Jesus Christ all you got to do now is lift your eyes and say God I behold I'm looking at you Lord I'm looking at your promise I'm looking at what you promised me I'm looking at where I'm going I'm looking at where I'm going because I'm going to a better place than this old world that's corrupt I'm going to a better place and the Lord come on give God some praise hallelujah 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 something far better than down here hallelujah we're like we're like in center stage down here and it's almost like a play but the reality of what god has done for you and i is going to set in hallelujah heaven is no comparison to earth down here hallelujah we'll be changed brothers and sisters we're going to inherit the promises of God um, we're going to inherit it uh, and let me get back to the main thing that he was saying since we're heirs um, and, and join heirs with Jesus Christ God put his spirit in us um, and the, the fact that he puts his spirit in you you belong to God um, you may be a baby just crawling but he put his spirit in you you may be making mistakes but he put his spirit in you you may be crawling a little bit you may be a, 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 a little toddler and not satisfied with a lot of things about yourself but he put his spirit in you and the Bible says he that has begun a good work in you is going to perform it to the day of Christ God's got this thing all put together he's got people praying for you when you can't pray for yourself he's got people praying for me when I can't pray for myself hallelujah God is on your side saints and so we can take courage now and so when we come to the house of God we don't have to come all slumped over and wondering what's going to get me what's going to hit me this time we can come with our hands lifted up um, come with a pep in our step and begin to say God's on my side I'm no longer with the curse um, but I'm with the blessing I'm no longer a part of the curse but I'm part of the blessed hallelujah and that veil of that curse must lift off of God's people so that the people of God will not find guilt and condemnation but they'll find joy unspeakable and full of glory come on somebody praise the Lord for he's worthy of praise hallelujah glory to God there's a bright future for you there's a bright future for you there's a bright future for you there's a glorious day coming hallelujah and even down here even down here saints of God um, God wants to cast off those restraints um, that we have uh, when we were unsaved and when the Jews were Israelites um, under the law they were on operating like slaves and one of the characteristics of a slave they're so fearful my God they're so fearful fearful because they never know when they were going to displease their master and brother and sister I used to live like that but I'm not quite there anymore I used to be afraid and look like the, like the old statement said somewhat afraid of my shadow you know didn't know but I'm gonna tell you something God Almighty is different than what we can perceive and I understand God's have not given us the spirit of fear I want you to look at somebody saying today I'm casting off that old fear and I'm going to be believing God for the life of God in me hallelujah glory to God hallelujah no more guilt no more condemnation no more negative feelings of I'm not adequate oh, hallelujah oh, I'm not worthy none of us were worthy but God made us worthy through his son hallelujah glory to God glory to God hallelujah God loves us so he cares for us saints uh, he's a good savior and this law hallelujah of this letter that was written to the church of Galatia was like the Magna Carta one man saying or like the emancipation proclamation it is a word of freedom hallelujah hallelujah and whom the son sets free he is free indeed uh, hallelujah if you're not free today and I charge you in Jesus name to be free be free 
free in your mind be free in your emotions be free in your spirit man be free because God wants you free be free because the price has already been prayed come out of that come out of that heart that, that, that dark place come out of that dungeon come out of that closet God doesn't want you in the closet but he wants to set you ablaze and he'll set you as a display for poor people so you begin to see yourself as blessed already you're not trying to be blessed but you're already blessed because God says you're righteous you're justified by faith in that blood that was shed and that blood is sufficient hallelujah to make you everything you ought to be and it was the blood that atoned for our sin it is the blood that hallelujah that the devil sees and when he sees the blood he backs up it is the blood that was shed hallelujah that will give us the power and the authority hallelujah to stand against those evil forces because through the blood that was shed God met the need hallelujah 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 to the Lamb of God you're blessed people you're the blessed people on the face of this earth hallelujah God wants us to begin to operate like we're blessed. When you lay down at night, um, before you close your eyes, um, you begin to say, I'm blessed. Hallelujah. I'm blessed. Glory to God. Um, and you, you don't have to feel like it. You don't have to understand all the things that he's done and going to do. But you do have to believe it. Isn't that right? Um, believe that you're blessed. Um, believe that you're blessed. Um, and believe that nothing shall be impossible. Nothing will be withheld from you. Believe it, saints of God. Um, and God will perform his word. Uh, hallelujah. One of the things... One of the things about Abraham, the Bible told, tells us that God told him to go outside and count the stars. Um, and he was a man whose wife was barren. Listen to me now. His wife was barren. Um, and a barren woman never got any changes um, unless God worked a miracle. And they were ridiculed. Um, but here this man was a righteous man and his wife's womb was barren. She could not have a child. And here come God um, telling him, go outside and look at the stars. Um, you see all those stars there thousands upon thousands he said that's the way I'm going to make you see him and this man could have said oh God you got to be crazy my wife can't even have no children but Lord hallelujah he knew the faith in Abraham and God challenges us sometime to believe what he says and God may have told you I'm going to take your life and I'm going to use your life and I'm going to cast you and take you to different places of the earth and you may be looking at yourself in the light of your own self but if you look at yourself in the light of God's word and begin to say God is able to keep his promise and whatever he promised me he's able to perform that word and then God is going to begin to work the wonders in your life in your heart in your circumstance he's able to do it and God is ready all he's saying now the just shall live by faith it is faith that pleases God it is faith that pleases God hallelujah let's cast off the cobwebs of our mind now and doubt and confusion and unbelief and let's begin to see God at work for God is able. He can work miracles after miracle after miracle. He can change your situation overnight. He can change your situation. He can bring you from the gutterbos to the uttermost, like he did Joseph, like he did Samuel, like he did the prophets. God still is able to do it. Somebody, I dare you to believe God. I dare you to believe him today. I dare you to believe him to say, God is going to change my life. God is going to change my situation. I'm getting the whole of fame. It is not my good works. It is not my good attitude. It is God that changes my life. Um, I want you to stand up on your feet. Be, let's begin to praise the Lord. Um, for God is able. God is able. God is able. God is able. He's ready to change things. God is able. God said, I'm the Lord and I change not. Um, come on, let's believe him today. Let's believe what he said um, so that God can work his wonderful power in our midst. Hallelujah. He's able to do it. He's able to do it. He's able to do it. Hallelujah. He's able to do it. He's able to do it. I hope that faith is arising in somebody's heart. I hope somebody is seeing like you've never seen before. I hope somebody is believing like you've never believed before. I hope somebody is not letting yourself get in the way. But believe in God for what God says. Hallelujah. I hope somebody is getting a hold of the truth of God's word. Somebody is looking at their attitude and conduct. Somebody is looking at themselves and light up the, the, the images that they came about. And God said it's not those images. Hallelujah. But he said I want you to be transformed. I want to transform you. I want to transform you. And so I'm giving you my word. I'm giving you my word. I'm giving you my word. My word is truth. 
and my word can change your situation hallelujah jesus hallelujah 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 his word his word his word hallelujah 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 when god got ready to make the world he used his word hallelujah hallelujah he did not have to do anything but he used his word it is his word that shall never fail it is the word of god that will change your every situation in mind it is the word but the lord says man shall not live by bread alone oh glory but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of god you see god is making us like him our nature is his nature and the bible says god calls those things that be not as though they were you see don't 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 wait to see it saints don't wait to see it hallelujah hallelujah glory to god hallelujah 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 believe it before you see it believe it before you see it don't wait to rejoice when you get a check in the mail start rejoicing before you see anything hallelujah glory to god hallelujah glory to god glory to god he still works wonders today he's still the same he doesn't change he's still the god of the bible hallelujah hallelujah the eyes of the lord are over the righteous and his ears are open to their prayer glory to god hallelujah glory be to god father i thank you for your precious holy spirit i thank you that we're in a land of opportunities thank you that which is impossible with man is possible with god thank you father You've made us heirs and joint heirs with Christ, inheritors of the promise. We thank you, Father. Well, there's no unrighteousness in you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Some heart today, God will heal that broken heart. Some heart today has been feeling hopeless like you've been in this situation so long there's not much hope but i have you to know that god's word comes to lift you out of that despair to give you hope again hallelujah 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 glory be to god hallelujah 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 and i felt the lord saying when he showed me that he came to redeem them that were under the law and the law represented a curse I felt him saying the curse of generation i'm gonna break from off of my people hallelujah 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 glory to god hallelujah hallelujah glory be to god god is faithful He's faithful. Hallelujah. Oh, he's faithful. Faithful is he that promised. Who also will do it. I'm going to ask my wife to come. We're going to pray for our television audience first. You may be seated if you will. Thank you, Father. 
agree with us in prayer as we pray for the listeners righteous father we thank you we honor you Lord God for freedom freedom through Jesus Christ I pray for each and every one that has been guilt ridden and feeling condemned that you'll break the power through the knowledge of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Oh God, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Liberate the captives now in their minds. I pray, dear God, you're not dissatisfied, but you're pleased with your people. You're pleased because of what you can do. Thank you, Father. You're not angry. You're not critical of your people. Therefore, we look to you and thank you. Bless those right now, Lord, that are struggling with guilt. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yes. You, by way of television, there's some you I sense in my heart. Just, you're, you're struggling with guilt. You really need a deep peace from God. And that word is going to liberate you today. Thank you, You're blessed. You're blessed. And you've been declared by the judge that's righteous that you're not guilty. Thank you, Jesus. And I thank you, Father. Thank you. Touch them right now. In the strong name of Jesus. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. 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 Oh glory. Oh thank you. Lord. Hallelujah. There's some that's listening to me now. He's gonna turn your captivity. You've been striving and you're literally weary. And God's gonna give you spiritual rest. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory, 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 glory. We thank you, Father, for giving rest in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for everyone that's under that guilt and condemnation as your children, that you would give the illumination and the revelation that they're blessed and you're not displeased in the name of Jesus. Because when you look at them, you don't see failures and faults, yes. but you see the blood of your son Hallelujah. that pleased you completely. Yes. I thank you, Father, thank you, and I give your name to praise. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, Amen. Amen. Amen.